The Institute of Heart Math was able to document the existence of this field. So this is not a hypothetical field. Uh, this is not New Age. It's not the prana. It's not the aura. Although it may be connected to the prana and the aura, this is an electrical and a magnetic field that surrounds every human heart. It's shaped like a donut. It's called a torus. They built a special, a special device, and they had human DNA, and they wanted really pure DNA. So this is DNA from placenta. It's isolated, and they wanted to see if, if an individual that has learned to regulate the emotions can change the shape of this DNA. The shape. Here's why that's important. What researchers have found is this. The DNA in the cells of your body does, in fact, change shape. In the, the presence uh, of anger, hate, jealousy, rage, stress, those kinds of what we would call negative emotions, the DNA is compressed. It's wound up very, very tightly and compressed. And because it is wound tightly, it cannot express fully. So in the presence of anger, hate, jealousy, rage, your DNA is not able to fully function. But you know that. When people are living in stress, their health suffers. In the presence of positive emotions, gratitude, appreciation, love, and compassion, look at what happened to the DNA. It actually relaxed. For 300 years, science has told the story of separation. It's told us that life is completely random, human life is random, that we're separate from our bodies and powerless to, to have any effect on healing our bodies, that we're separate from the world around us, uh, that civilization is only 5,000 years old and we are, are at the pinnacle of sophistication, and that competition is the way to solve our problems. Those are now called false assumptions of science, six false assumptions. And the world that we have today is the result of those false assumptions. New discoveries have given us new reasons to change all of those. New discoveries are telling us that life itself, origin of life, it's not random, that human life is not random, that we're deeply connected to our bodies, we're deeply connected to the earth, civilization is cyclic, and nature is based upon cooperation. And if we can embrace those new truths as we solve the greatest crises, the biggest problems that we've ever been asked to face, then we open the door to a beautiful new world based upon sustainable ways of thinking and sustainable ways of living. And that's why I'm excited about this conversation. Yes, you said something very that I, I it, it struck me. You know? I saw it's, it. I, <laughs> it's, uh, you said uh, something which most of us would consider a miracle, which is self-healing. Mm. Like, a lot of people still don't believe sure. that there is such thing and they need, again, they need proof. They need to have a neighbor who did that. They need to see it on the TV uh, filmed in, uh, you know, real time. Sure. They, they need proof to believe that. Why is that? And is it really possible? When we look at our bodies and what our own science now is beginning to, uh, to, to help us understand, it is very similar to what our most cherished and ancient indigenous and spiritual traditions have always said. What science is telling us is this, is that the cells in our bodies that determine our health respond uh, to the chemistry released by the brain. And the chemistry released by the brain is triggered from the feelings in the human heart. What we know is that every moment of every day, there's a conversation between our heart and our brain. It's a two-way conversation. Our heart is sending signals to the brain, and based upon those signals, the brain releases chemistry into the body. When we feel frightened, angry, hate, jealousy, rage, frustration, that sends a very jagged, irregular signal to the brain, and it releases stress chemistry, which is good for a moment. 
but it's not good 24 7. Do we see that? Do we see that jagged? Because that's what was yes. another m uh, point of view. Like, how do we know it's like this? How do we sense it? The, do we film it? Do we register, record it somehow? The answer is yes to everything <laughs> that you said. There's an organization called the Institute of Heart Math, mm -hmm. H E A R T M A T H, but it's all one word. Mm -hmm. They're based in Northern California. Uh, I am not their employee but I have uh, worked closely with them for 20 years now. And they are pioneers in uncovering the deepest mysteries of the human heart in ways that conventional science does not. So conventional science says the heart pumps blood. Well, you can make a machine to do that, but what else does our heart do? So the Institute of Heart Math, to answer your question, mm -hmm. has documented this, uh, uh, the, Connection. The information mm -hmm. between the heart, and you can actually see the information between the heart and the brain when we feel feelings of well-being, appreciation, gratitude, compassion, care. Then the signal is a very smooth, rhythmic signal to our brain, and our brain says, ah, the world is safe, so I don't need the stress chemistry. So it begins to release the anti-aging hormones in our bodies and, and powerful uh, uh, immune response is created within our bodies in the presence of this smooth signal. The, the connection is called coherence, heart-brain coherence. And optimum coherence now has been measured. It's a very low frequency, 0 0.10 hertz. That is the language that whales communicate in the oceans. It's a very low frequency. So if we can create the feelings in our hearts, for example, uh, of 0 0.10 hertz, that is an optimum connection between our heart and our brain, and that begins releasing the healing chemistry from our brain into the cells of our bodies, and this has been documented. It reduces high blood pressure, reduces uh, vascular plaque, reduces uh, the, uh, the, the, the chances for stroke, uh, when we are able to feel those kinds of feelings sustained over long periods of time, the immune system increases the DHEA level, is the precursor to all hormones in the body. Every hormone must have the DHEA. DHEA increases 100% from only three minutes of feeling the feelings, appreciation, gratitude, compassion, love, while the stress chemistry decreases 23% in the same time, and all we're doing is having a feeling. Those are the qualities that the body needs to begin to heal itself. 